Active data biology is a visual analytic tool for exploring data within familiar biological contexts. The tool suite is focused on fluid navigation and easy collaboration. On the home page, you can log in with your GitHub account. After you log in, your personal landing page, called the My Project page, shows the projects that you are currently working on and links to the three main tools of each project, heat map view, pathway view, and the canvas. Each tool displays project data in a different way. ADBio is designed for omics and multi-omics studies, such as proteomics, transcriptomics, and genomics. These can be either cohort studies or time course studies. For example, this screen shows a metatranscriptomic study of a 28-day succession experiment monitoring a bacterial phototrophic consortium, a metatranscriptomic study for microcosms in soil, an ovarian cancer proteomic study, and so on. For demonstration, we'll be looking at the user study dataset, which is a subset of a publicly available ovarian cancer dataset. On the project page, you can see the recent activity from different collaborators, and the summary tab shows its graphical view of these activities per user and per week. We'll start by exploring our data in the heat map view. Columns in the heat map represent individual tumors, and the rows represent proteins. Each value in the heat maps is the abundance of a given protein in an individual tumor. The dynamic navigation of the heat map view allows you to ask typical questions of the data in real time. For example, what is unique about this cluster of tumors? What differentiates them from the rest of the cohort? When we click on the node of this cluster of tumors, metadata is searched and tested to identify statistically distinguishing features of the cluster. In this case, we see several variables with significant p-values. Clicking the List tab shows us identifiers for the specific tumors in this cluster. Clicking the Graph tab allows us to see the data and resulting test. By clicking the Vital status, we can see one of the meaningful characteristics of this tumor subtype. This is a relatively good outcome group, with about 50% of the patients still living. Outside this group, patients are deceased at a roughly 3 to 1 ratio. As rows represent proteins, people frequently ask, what are these proteins? And what cellular functions are enriched in this group of proteins? This information is easily retrieved from the dynamic interface by clicking on a node for protein clusters. The canvas automatically searches for functional enrichment using a variety of classification tools like KEG and Reactome. By clicking on various nodes in the heat map view, users can quickly navigate the data and ask questions in a self-directed manner. The second tool is a pathway viewer and displays project data on top of KEG maps. This is typically accessed directly from the functional enrichment test or from the top navigation menu. Let's explore our data for the focal adhesion pathway. Colored boxes here indicate protein functions for which we have data. Clicking on a box gives direct access to the data. This pop-up, made with high charts, can be moved and the image can be saved to your desktop. By clicking multiple proteins, we can see how different proteins in this pathway behave. The ECM box, or extracellular matrix, shows the expression of many distinct proteins, which KEG classifies to this function. These two tools, the heat map and pathway viewers, allow for fluid and intuitive navigation of biological data. What makes active data biology a truly novel tool is the ability to save and share your thoughts during data analysis. This is the purpose of the canvas view. The canvas is a pin board for pieces of data that we want to work on. Data is put on the canvas by clicking a pin button. Data can be pinned from the pathway view, heat map, or from other applications like Excel or PubMed. Let's click over to the canvas to see what has happened to our pinned MLCK protein. The canvas is designed to be a shareable thought space where you put data and software assistants proactively search knowledge bases for relevant information. After pinning the MLCK protein to our canvas, two gray boxes automatically pop up with recommendations on potentially useful resources. One box is the NCBI webpage for this protein. The other is a PubMed search using the protein name as query. Different types of data triggers different software assistants that gather recommendations. Let's go to the heat map and pin a group of proteins. We'll pin this group we were previously looking at and give it the name of muscle and adhesion. Now switching back to the canvas, we see our new node popping up with two recommendation boxes. The first is the data from the heat map related to these proteins, which can be downloaded into Excel or R. The second is the list of enriched pathways, which allows you to navigate back to the pathway viewer. All data for a project, including a user's canvas and saved recommendations, is versioned and backed at GitHub. We adopt the version control paradigm that has thrived in software engineering. Each change is tracked and versioned so that you never lose your place. Each experiment or project is a repository where both data and analysis live. Using GitHub allows us to seamlessly share the project with specified collaborators or with the world.